Hey everybody, welcome to a, another YouTube edition with me, Ben Yard, Somerset Whitler. <laughs> so in one of my previous videos, I was talking and showing how to carve eyes on a small caricature figure and realised that a lot of people, especially beginners, can't necessarily roll their blade. And in that particular video, I showed quite a bit of rolling the blade. So afterwards, I give it some consideration and thought about the fact that Maybe I should show a different way of doing eyes that is equally as good, uh, but easier to do without anything along the lines of having to roll your blade. So let's see if we can do that. So we've got a stick of basswood, unusual size, this one, from, from one of those multi-size boxes, so I won't worry too much about using this one to practice. And we will start by cutting ourselves in a nose so that we can um, Start with the eyes, let's go to the bottom of the nose. Around here. And then we'll go for the, for the brow of the nose. So we've got the brow of the nose going in, in here. And for this particular eye, we're going to do a similar thing as we've done in the other videos. We're going to cut in the brow and then we're going to go down and across to create the eye mass. We do the same down this side. Like so. I can't help but roll my knife, it's just naturally in me to do it. I'd suggest practicing it. It allows you to um it allows you to use a knife a lot more than having to turn to a Vita or a gouge, it just gives you bad control. It doesn't matter what we're on this particular piece. So what we're going to do is knock this full head back a bit. So this area here is where we're going to start with our eye. And what I'll do is I will use a pencil to try and show what I'm trying to do. So these mounds here are where we're going to put our eyes. I'll just roll the nose out of my way a little bit. Okay, and what we want to do here is have that sort of ledged. So we don't want it going but too far in, we want it coming down because that's where we're going to work our eyes into. And we want it nice and flat on both sides. We want to make sure we've got a decent bit of symmetry. Just a little bit out. There we go, something like that. What this is going to involve is V cuts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a V roughly like so. And then a matching one on the other side. It doesn't have to be matching if you want to do a different expression. But we'll keep it as close as we possibly can. Okay, something along those lines. Then with the tip of our blade, we're just going to follow that line. Straight in. In. Do the same on the other side. Straight in. Straight in. So just follow those in. Then with the tip of our blade, we're just going to angle it up slightly. Just take a slither out of where we just cut. Okay. Same on the other side. Okay. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do another small triangular cut. Use my pencil for this. And we're going to put that triangular cut kind of 
there. Try to get that in focus. And again on the other side, we're going to put that triangular cut kind of there. This triangular cut, we're not going to do it just on the face of that cut, that triangle behind us. We will aim some of it into the actual base here. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll try and cut that triangle out and you'll split this top one. I'll show you. So we've got the tip of our blade. Just a small triangle cut. But we'll come up into it from an, that base and that will just pop out. And you can play around with that as fragile as you like just to try to get that cut in. Again, we'll do it the other side. So we just, no. Triangle cut, but we'll come up into it from underneath. And we'll take the pressure away from the eyelid we've just created. Okay, we'll just tidy that up a little bit. You can, with practice, you can get that nice and deep. You have a really decent eye. If you want to get it any deeper, what you need to do is just round it from the base up. Like that. Okay, now we don't actually have an eyeball on this one, but this is why it's more for a beginner. Try and cock my hand so you can see this one a bit better. Just coming in. Cack-handed for me that. Okay, what you can also do from there is that top line we have here. We can just cut down onto it. It's the opposite cut to what we did before, just to really get the eyelid to come out. And you can shape these. If you want, take this back in deeper if you want to get a deeper look. Which we do like so. You can come underneath, and again, if you've learned that roll cut, you could roll that a little bit if you needed to. Okay. Or you could, with the tip of your knife, just roll around can make a kind of bag, if that's what you wanted to do. And there, but that's effectively just a quick and easy way of showing you how to do an eye without necessarily worrying about the eyeball. Let's see if you roll that out, we can get some shape onto the nose, which comes into play. And all of that is for another day. And there is your eye. Real nice, quick, simple. You might think, ah, oh, that's not great. But once you start playing around with it, you can end up with an eye similar to that. That is the same concept as what I've done there. I've just gone back. Here's the bag I'm talking about, which you can cut in afterwards if you need to. This guy's got a slight squint, hence one on one side and the other side is raised because you can do that with that type of style. You can raise it up and that will give you quite a nice, effective eye and something a little bit different than the last one. Hope that was useful. If it was, just make... Uh, Make a comment because it's always good to see if people uh, find this helpful or not. But that's me signing out. Ben Yard, Somerset Whittler. Thanks, guys. See you later.